morning everybody so i'm gonna vlog my day today so i'm heading to aldi right now i'm probably gonna stop at goodwill because i just want to see what they have i'm going early which is good because you want to get in right as the gates open on a monday but i'm going to aldi i'm doing my grocery shopping and then i'm gonna go to Kroger for like the last couple things. For tonight, I'm gonna make my green pea pesto pasta because we were gonna make it last night and then we didn't have time because we watched a movie. <laughs> we watched Jar Jarvis forced me to watch Indiana Jones, which is like way more gory than you would ever expect for a PG-13 movie. And I cannot believe my parents let me watch it when I was younger. Um, yesterday I washed all of my new, <laughs> You're probably like, not again, but I found an entire set of Johnson Brothers Regency pattern, which is like one of my favorite patterns because I love like how classic it is. And I actually found this one at a Goodwill in Illinois. And then later I found the creamer and then all of this other stuff. Guys, I paid only $70 for all of this. Five dinner plates, all of these little like bread and butter plates saucers with the teacup eight teacups and then i also have got three of these mugs which these mugs are really expensive but they're so pretty and they're like in all in great condition so yeah I'm very excited about that so i'll have to set a table i'm gonna try to locate like a teapot the, t the matching teapot and then i have an auction right now going on shopgoodwill.com i'm trying to win it and it ends today so i have to win it so i think i might up my bid one more time, but no one else has bid on it. And it's been like days. So I think the shipping will cost a lot though. But okay, anyway, I gotta go. Oh my God. Okay, well, I figured I would show you my Goodwill haul. I really need to put my seats back up. But let me show you, cause I got some good stuff. I only paid $24, which I think is pretty good for what I got. So. First thing, this is from 1944, which is insane. Literary England photographs. And it's all, it's like a really pretty coffee table book, but it's all these different photos of England. Like so pretty. So got that. Then I got this, John Galt, AKA Brandy Melville. So that was $4 for this little USA crop. And you know, John Gall, I was like, oh my God, how the hell did I just get this? Then, this is kind of crazy. Wild Fox, which is expensive. Um, this was also a red tag, so I think I paid $2 for this. It's just, it's a huge, it's huge, it's double XL. But, you know, you could wear it oversized, but I thought that was kind of pretty. And it was literally, let me check my receipt. 245. Hilarious. Okay, then finally, oh wait, this is a little, the ladies inside were going crazy over this. This is um, a little sapphire blue. This is a Philb, Vintage Fire King. 99 cents. And then finally, let me just quickly show you this, because I think I got a bunch of these, but this is Noritake, and you can see how gorgeous are these. They had a whole bunch of them, but they were priced kind of high. So I just got four of each. There were a lot more than that. Um, they didn't have any teacups, even though they had the saucers, which is something that I find a lot. They always have like vintage saucers, but they never have the teacups. So now I'm going to Aldi. I'm like, I was in there for an hour. It's a fun little, you know, thing to do for the mornings when I come over here. I'm probably gonna spend some time in the Aldi Fine section today because Jarvis needs desperately new slippers. I bought him like a super cheap pair. <laughs> Cause you know me, like I'll spend whatever I gotta spend on myself. But he was like, I need slippers, I need slippers. Like, cause his got ruined or something. And I'm like, all right. And I ordered him like, they were like $10 and they are literally paper thin <laughs> and they're halfway off his foot and I feel like, I feel bad but it's also kind of hilarious like, so I gotta find him something else, uh, I'll try to find him something else. I hope that like Aldi has it, like I just, 
I do hope that Aldi has it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's so funny. So anyway, all right, well, I'm gonna go. Enough chatting. Okay, so I know you guys like to see grocery hauls. I'm gonna close this because I can't look at it. Waffle. So I'm gonna show you my grocery haul. It's pretty big, but I will show you just what's in front of me and then I'll just some of it's all these some Kroger. So I got five of these because it was buy five, get a dollar, then every one of them was a dollar, so five dollars off. So basically you got like a free one. Um, and I, we go through these a lot, so I was like, well, I might as well stock up because I'm going to buy them eventually again, you know. I don't know if I have the freezer space, but we shall see. And then I also had a $4 off coupon as well for um, my whole, per whole purchase because I bought Morningstar last week. So then I got another one this week, so basically I got one of these for free again. These were also buy five, get a dollar off. <laughs> so I bought five. It was also buy five, get a dollar off. I'll make some of these right now. I usually make two bags at the beginning of the week and then I make another two bags um, kind of towards the end of the week because I use them for my wraps, different things like that. I have. A lot of ideas for these, but they kind of cost me a lot. Like, I need to find an alternative. I know that Aldi sells those, but they're not like my favorite. So, all right. These are Aldi. I always buy these because we have stir fry pretty much every night. So, I buy the broccoli stir fry. I buy like four or five bags of them. I buy a lot. And I'm running out of room. And then I got these, which are my favorite ever, ever. So good. Now let's move on to some other stuff. So I have two bags of the sweet butter lettuce because I use that for my wraps. I also got one thing of romaine lettuce for Jarvis's lunch and then I also got this because I think I'm gonna start buying this instead. I just feel like it's easier to do that. I don't really wanna have to use my salad spinner. It's a lot of work. So then I got two of these, they were reduced. So he needs to eat them really soon. They're probably like expired. Then I got some tofu. So I'm gonna do a tea party this week. I wanna do egg cress salad, uh, like sandwiches. And then I also wanna do, so I'm using tofu obviously in place of the egg. And I also wanna do my little like, it's basically like tuna salad sandwich, but it's chickpeas. So then I got some of these, these are really good. And I was eating them on the way home because I was, starving because I always do that to myself. I got some vegan mozzarella and I also got some tomatoes for Jarvis's lunches. Then I got some celery and I got some green onion, Jarvis's salads, and then also for just like those egg crust salad sandwiches and stuff. Cucumber, so Jarvis likes these kind of cucumbers. Um, I got this, which I'm very excited to do. So I saw a DIY, let me close this for a second. I saw a DIY, not a DIY, but a recipe where they did um, red, white, and blue crunch cereal, and then they did made like Rice Krispies out of it. So I bought the vegan marshmallows to do that. I think that's kind of fun for 4th of July. So also for 4th of July, I did, got this, just some plates, two cake mixes. This one I just got with this because it's so good like this is so good buy this 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 is like crack to me creamy lemon supreme frosting and the whatever and this was also on sale then i got two of these this is i haven't seen them in the store in so long so i had to grab them i should have bought another one but i am running low so it's the glazed lemon love tea it's my favorite and it's herbal tea no caffeine then i got a bunch of these for the movie theater and then this one is just kind of for fourth of july slash movie theater but Twizzler Bites, which are my fave, and then Sour Patch Kids, red, white, and blue. Then I got two of these um, for my breakfast sandwiches in the morning, English muffins. I got this, because this is my favorite, the Sweet Baby Rays, and we're, I got that because I thought it might be fun if we made some pizzas, maybe on Friday or 
Saturday or something. It always comes to the weekend and we're like, we don't have any cool recipes. So we love to do um, like onion. We do, this is the base, like barbecue sauce. Then we'll do like some chicken, like the garden or whatever. And then we'll do like mozzarella and it's so, we love it. So I thought this might be kind of fun. So I got these at Aldi, mini pizza crusts. Fun dinner idea. I also got this, this is our favorite guacamole, oh, no, sorry. Favorite is guacamole salsa, but it's our favorite. So good, literally so good. So I use it for all my Mexican recipes. Then, I got this for tonight. So these garlic knots are literally bananas at Aldi. They're literally so good and they are vegan. May contain, this is may contain, but it's only wheat and soy. So I'm making this for dinner tonight. So I'm making my green bean pesto linguine, which everybody loves. It's my probably my best recipe that I make. And then I'm gonna make this as a side. And maybe I'll do a salad too. I'm not sure, but maybe I will. Then I got these. These are my favorite wraps of life. They taste so good. So good. <laughs> I got these for Jarvis's lunch. So they're just, they were $2. 100 calorie almonds and walnuts and it comes with seven. So kind of cool to put in his lunch. I got some onions. So I got, these were I think were $2 as well. Pretty good price and they're really good onions. Sometimes you know, like they're, they were, every single onion was perfect. I was like, wow. I got some jalapeno peppers, just cause we're running out of them. I got some large black olives. I like to just snack on these. I got this kind of bread, which I was very excited about. It's like basically a dupe for the Sara Lee, I think, artisanal bread, but I love this kind of bread and it is vegan, I checked. And then finally, I just got some strawberries, which are in season, I think. They taste so good right now. Peaches taste really good right now. And I also got blackberries as well. So that's everything I got. That's my grocery haul. I'm gonna make my lunch right now. Put all this crap away. And then go find whatever else I need to work on today. <laughs> Welcome to today. I have my hair in a braid, which is kind of my go-to nowadays, but okay. So I am gonna be doing a tea party today. Oh, and by the way, I'm wearing a Miss Americana shirt. I bought this for 4th of July, so cute. Girl Tribe Co. I fell for another Instagram ad. It is what it is, <laughs> but okay. So um, I'm only doing two sandwiches today, but where's my phone? And it's right in front of me. I'm very excited about this. So one thing I'm doing is I'm doing my tuna salad sandwich. And then I'm also going to do an egg cr and cress sandwich. But I don't have the cress. So what I'm going to use for that is I'm going to use tofu. But I'm going to do sandwiches, scones, and I already have little mini cupcakes made. So I'm going to do my tuna salad sandwich. I'm not going to do like finger sandwiches but I am gonna cut the crust off and just do like, cut them into little triangles. So I think that'll be cute. What I've decided to do, cause I do like, a t when I do my tuna salad sandwich, I use chickpeas, but they're so hard to smash for me. So I just put them in the food processor and like blitz them a couple times. I much prefer to do that and it's so much easier. So I am gonna do that. I'm gonna set the table after, which I'm very excited because I really have a vision. By the way, whoever sent me this, I cannot remember, I'm really sorry. I was cleaning out a bunch of stuff and I threw away the thing but of who made this. But whoever sent me this, thank you so much. I like, I'm literally obsessed with it. It's amazing. I use it every day.
Okay, taking a break from some of the festivities. I just got something in the mail and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I ordered these as a gift to myself because I gift myself a lot of things. I go through a lot in my life. Oh my God. This is so exciting. Rouge Paris, this came from Paris. I had to do international shipping. I like never order stuff like this. This little, wait, it comes with a bag? It comes with a tote? You're joking. I hope I didn't just order the tote. That would be bad. Oh my God, so cute, okay. Okay, good, it's here. These are the earrings that Taylor Swift was wearing. I, ever since she wore them, I literally could, I haven't been able to stop thinking about them. I think they were like a hundred something. Oh my God, these are gorgeous, look at the back. Look at the detail on the back. Rouge, Paris, and then here's the, I love that they're like huggies too. Hold on, I gotta put these on. It's just, these are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't even remember, like, aren't these like gold or something? I have no idea. I'm gonna have to... Wait, I have earrings in, that's why. I'm like, why can't I get these in? I already have freaking earrings in. Okay, I'm, hello, stupid. I would have been there all day. <gasps> oh my god. Obsessed. <gasps> oh my god, the packaging is so cute too. You just simply have to love everything about this. Such a good purchase. And I love the, the packaging it came in. Like, go off, Rouge. So cute. I mean, so cute. So anyway, I'm over here for a reason though. I just had to put my earrings in because they just got delivered while he, the guy probably was like, what are you doing? But right now I am cleaning my couch. So if you guys know, I have a boucle couch, but um, if you have a boucle anything, it's hard to clean it because it gets like these really little, like you can see these little black let me zoom it in even farther. See these like black fibers? So I figured out that I can use a fabric shaver to get them off. So, I've been doing my couch for the last 10 minutes or so. And I find when I go in a circle, it's a little bit easier to get all the little, like, you know, this stuff. It does take a while.
Look at how much stuff is in there. But it works so well. You can see already it's like looking better. So, and it's not taking up the boucle at all. Um, this, I don't think at least, or maybe a little bit, but it's just like fuzzy stuff. But check it out. And there's two settings on this one. So you could do like if you're kind of nervous about it. But um, yeah, I've been trying to clean this boucle for a while. And I like look at this couch and I'm like, oh, it just drives me crazy because I love it. I love boucle. You know, over time it's gotten like black stuff from people's clothes and stuff like that. And it's just like normal wear. But I was like, how do I clean this? I tried my vacuum. I've tried lint rollers. I've tried the Chom Chom roller. Nothing worked at all. So this works. So if you want to try this out, just for other people to have the boucle. I'm going to continue to do this now. It's probably going to take me a long time. I don't know why